Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 61 of our trek and today we will discover the wisdom tools needed as we acquire money and wealth of any type. Let us trek together as we learn to build your living legacy each day. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marriott, Ohio today. And each day seems to bring new challenges and opportunities to learn. I do admit sometimes those challenges can be, well, challenging. I realize that you go through learning opportunities as well. As we share together each day, we can assist and help each other in a very meaningful way. We are continuing today on our It's Only Money Trek. Each day we will explore a different trail on our trek to true wealth. Today we will see what part wisdom plays on the acquisition on our money trail. On the first three days of our money trek, we used the book of Proverbs as we focused on the proper attitudes toward money. Now we will concentrate on what Proverbs says about making and spending of money. Today is filled with bullet points from Proverbs as we gather many wisdom nuggets along the trail. So our overall theme for today is wisdom and the acquisition of money. It matters a great deal how money is obtained. Proverbs reminds us that God is intimately concerned in the way that we earn our living. God is not indifferent to how we obtain our money. Proverbs 16.11, the Lord demands accurate scales and balances. He sets standards for fairness. And Proverbs 22, verses 22 and 23, don't rob the poor just because you can or exploit the needy in court. The Lord is their defender. He will ruin anyone who ruins them. Money which is gained in an ungodly way will not bring us any lasting benefits. Instead, it will actually bring us our own misery. Proverbs 10.2 puts it this way, Tainted wealth has no lasting value, but right living can save your life. Proverbs 11.18 says, Evil people get rich for the moment, but the reward of the godly will last. Proverbs 20.17, Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. And Proverbs 21.6, Wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. Some people make money by questionable, if not illegal means, and then attempt to salve their consciences by giving a portion to the church or some other good charity organization. In their minds, benevolence is the end that justifies the corrupt means. The tragedy is here that there are all too many churches and organizations that are eager to relieve the guilt of undisciplined men by taking their money, helping them feel good about their dishonesty. But Proverbs tells us that no sacrifice is pleasing to God if it is wrongly gained. Proverbs 21 verse 3, the Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. In Proverbs 21 verse 27, the sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it is offered with wrong motives. Today we're going to look at three principles that sum up the teaching of Proverbs on how we should acquire money. Let me share this wisdom with a brief word of explanation on each. Number one, money should not be pursued without a cost to us. You might call this the principle of toil and time. From the fall of Adam in the Garden of Eden, which took place many centuries before Proverbs was written, the curse that God placed on man was clear. Genesis 3.17 And to the man he said, Since you listened to your wife and ate from the tree, whose fruit I commanded you not to eat, the ground will be cursed because of you. All your life you will struggle to scratch out a living from it. There are three underpinnings of the principle of toil and time. First, money should not be sought without toil or hard work. Second, money should not be sought without an investment of our time. And thirdly, money obtained too easily or quickly will soon be gone. As we go back to Proverbs, these are the verses that explain this. Proverbs 10.4, lazy people are soon poor, hard workers get rich. Proverbs 12.11, a hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies has no sense. Proverbs 14.23, work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Proverbs 20.13, if you love sleep, you will end in poverty. Keep your eyes open, and there will be plenty to eat. And Proverbs 20.21, an inheritance obtained too early in life is not a blessing in the end. The opposite of diligence and hard work is laziness. The lazy seek to avoid work altogether. Since they must make money to live by, they turn to schemes and get-rich-quick offers. Proverbs teaches us that these alternatives to work will not succeed in the long run. And number two, money should not be gained at the price of principle. Proverbs 10.2 calls money acquired at the expense of principles tainted wealth. Other Proverbs are more specific as to the principles which we dare not violate in our pursuit of income. I will list the following five principles which we ought never to violate in the making of money. 
first, money should not be gained at the expense of truth. Proverbs 20.17, stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. And Proverbs 21.6, wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. Second, money should not be gained at the expense of justice. Proverbs 16.8, better to have a little with godliness than to be rich and dishonest. Proverbs 13.11, wealth from get-rich-quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. And Proverbs 29.4, a just king gives stability to the nation, but one who demands bribes destroys it. Thirdly, money should not be gained at the expense of others. Proverbs 22.22, don't rob the poor just because you can or exploit the needy in court. Proverbs 28.24, anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that? is no better than a murderer. And Proverbs 28, 8, income from charging high interest rates will end up in the pocket of someone who is kind to the poor. Fourthly, money should not be gained at the expense of right living. Proverbs 10, 2, tainted wealth has no lasting value, but right living can save your life. And Proverbs eleven eighteen, evil people get rich for the moment, but the reward of the godly will last. Fifth, money should not be acquired at the expense of our priorities. I think we can agree, I believe, that we should never do anything that is illegal, wicked, or immoral in order to gain wealth. But Proverbs carries this principle even further. We should not sacrifice any biblical priority or compromise our integrity to earn money either. Since there are many things in life that are more important than money, our efforts to earn money should never rearrange these priorities. For example, this week we already learned that a happy home is more important than a prosperous one. Proverbs 15, 17, a bowl of vegetables with somebody you love is better than a steak with someone you hate. And Proverbs 17, 1, better a dry crust eaten in peace than a house filled with feasting and conflict. The pursuit of money should never take toll on our home life, the truth, justice, others, or your personal integrity. Priorities should never be laid aside or rearranged in the making of money. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, especially this series on money, please check them out at Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow, we will consider the topic, It's Only Money, Part 5, and what to avoid so that you do not lose the money once you have obtained it. So please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, these nuggets that we share with each other each day, I encourage you to take the time to invest in yourself. First, invest with your time in improving Wisdom Trek by leaving your name, email address, and a comment at the website so we can provide you with wisdom and insight that best fits your needs. Second, invest in yourself by listening to your seven minutes of wisdom through Wisdom Trek each day. And thirdly, invest in the lives of others by sharing with your family and friends, whether in person or online, to journey with us on our Wisdom Trek. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com where we have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. And I thank you for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.